Why do you say it like that? I don't know. They were there <laughs> only for a month, and then they wanted to go home. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm Sky. I'm Kyler. And this is Histories, Mysteries, and Conspiracies. You just sound a little more excited about being here. Whoopity do. If you hear light thumping in the background, that is Milo, uh, the cat, just swatting his tail because <laughs> he wants attention and he's not getting it. Today, I'm talking about the unsolved mystery of the Roanoke Colony. How much do you know about the Roanoke Colony? So, the only thing I know about it is that there was this colony, right? And, uh... Yeah, I know of it. Yeah, <laughs> you've heard. And then there was this one guy, right, who left, possibly with a group of people. And then when he came back, all of them were gone. Dun, dun, dun. And then the only clue or hint as to where they could have gone was some word carved into a tree, which the word is escaping me right now. It might have been Roanoke, but, uh... Let's find out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so, uh, the one thing about this case I'm going to start with is that it's super awful because there are so many details to it and so many historical things associated with all the theories that... I can't go in depth into all of them, so I might be missing stuff here and there, but so just bear with me as I make my way through this. So some background on the establishment of Roanoke. Sir Walter Raleigh. Raleigh, Georgia? No, like Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, uh uh-huh. You were close. Um, (laughs) So he's like, so Roanoke was in North Carolina, but we'll get to it in a second. Um, He dispatched these guys named Philip Amaras and Arthur Barlow. Wait, is Raleigh named after him? I'm assuming so. Oh my God. Okay. I think so. But anyway, those people arrived in Roanoke to explore the island on July 4th, 1584 and establish relations with the local natives, the Sacatoans. No, Sacatins. Sacatoanas. No, it's just Sacatins and the Croatins. Croatins and Sacatins. Make my way through this. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Also, wagon wheel. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. Now, <laughs> when Barlow returned to England, he took two Croatans, Wait, Manteo and Juan Cheze. What? Who's Barlow? He's one of the people who Raleigh dispatched. How, what are the other people's names? There was Philip Amadas and Arthur Barlow. They okay. arrived in to, in Roanoke. <laughs> to the local natives were the Secatins and the Croatans. Okay, Croatans. We're, we're on like line three <laughs> of a three page document oh, here, so we got to power through it. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> When Barlow returned to England, he took two Croatans, Manteo and Wanchese, who were able to describe the politics and geography of the area. Da 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 da. During the initial evaluation of the mainland, Europe, Europeans blamed the natives of the Aquasogok village for stealing, so they sacked and burned their village. Lots of attacks on the Native Americans, basically, the Native Americans and the European settlers fought a lot. What a surprise! Also, Ralph Lane, I don't know who he was, I wrote his name down because he was important, killed the king of a local tribe, Wingina. Wingina. But anyway, Roanoke Colony was established in the summer of 1585, now known as Dare County, North Carolina. A lack of supplies and bad relations with the Native Americans caused most of the original settlers to return to England a year later with Sir Francis Drake. Hey, did you know that Sir Francis Drake has two uh, illegitimate children? That, well, not, he doesn't have two illegitimate children. There actually are descendants of Sir Francis Drake, and those people actually discovered El Dorado. Well, at least one of them did. El Dorado? Yeah. A descendant of Sir Francis Drake. What are you quoting? Is this a game? Is this (laughs) Uncharted? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uncharted, they, 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 they claimed to be from... They Sir, claim Sir to be Drake. descendants of Sir Francis Drake. Okay, well, don't listen to Kyler's lore because it's all video but games. But inside of Sir Francis Drake's coffin, they actually found a map. To El Dorado. That's. Are you, is this still Uncharted Four? 
Of course. <laughs> no, it's not Uncharted 4. That's like Uncharted 1. Oh, I don't know the lore behind Uncharted. That's okay. Not- so- <laughs> Moving on. The remaining settlers had returned to England by time John White, John White's important guy, the guy you were talking about, artist and explorer. That was, it's important. You, you I didn't say. mention one John White. Oh, John White is the guy that came back. Yes. Ah, oh, I love him. <laughs> he was the colony's governor and he led an expedition in July 1587. So in, when Roanoke was first established, there were 120 settlers, <laughs> including his daughter, who was Eleanor White Dare, and his granddaughter, Virginia Dare, who was the first English-born child in the New World. And that's also where Dare County comes from. That's fake, but okay. Okay. The group was also experienced attacks from the natives and were lacking in supplies, so they begged John White to go to England and get them more supplies and people. But this was one month after they arrived. So they arrived, were there for a month, and they wanted to go home. So those people... So those people who were there left, or left, I guess, left behind 115 colonists made up of 87 men, 17 women, and 11 children. And at this time, England was having disputes with Spain, including, like, war was on the rise. And also, people, all of the men on these ships at the time were just, like, a bunch of children, and they would just kind of antagonize Spain. So it wasn't great. So... Oh, I forgot his name. John White. Yeah. He had to, he ended up staying in England and helping England for three years. Uh, Like after he was like, yeah, I'll be right back with some people and supplies. He leaves, doesn't come back for three years. So when he finally came back to Roanoke three years later, he found the entire colony was gone. And all that remained was one man's bones and the word Croatoan carved into a fence post and crow. So C-R-O carved into a tree. And all of the houses and fortifications were dismantled, suggesting that they were not in a hurry. Except for the fence. They carved it into the, they carved Croatoan into the fence post. Yeah, but you all can, man-made can, structures are dismantled? Houses and fortifications. What's a fortification? A fence. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> so, but this is important. Before John White left, he instructed the colony that if their, if their absence had been forced... Which I, if there's so if they're attacked or if there's a hostage situation, then they carve a Maltese cross on a tree, and he didn't see any trees. Do you know what a Maltese cross is? I'm gonna guess the 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 cross that they use for uh, the Knights Templar. It's this thing. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, it's also used on fire department. Uh, it's also it if you logos? connect all the areas, it'd be the it'd be the Umbrella Corporation logo. Okay. I don't know what that is. Some, I mean, not really. Look up Umbrella Corporation logo. <laughs> this is not meant to be this long of a sidebar. <coughs> Umbrella Corp. What is Umbrella Corporation? Resident Evil? No. It says Resident Evil. Yeah, it's from Resident Evil. Oh, I guess that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That is. Yeah. Okay. Kind of worth it. <laughs> Fucking told you. <laughs> So, when John White saw the Croatoan thing, he was like, obviously, they just went to Croatoan Island. Clearly. Which was 50 miles away. But, serious question. So, do you think that when they wrote Croatoan, but then they only got crow out on the tree, that they didn't just finish the word? Maybe they left it. Maybe one person wrote it, and another person who started writing it was like, how do you spell it? No one was getting back to me. He's like, screw it. Give up. Or it could have been... They started, but then everyone's like, we need to go. What language was this written in? Croatoan? Croato- Croatan, the Croatan Indians that we talked about earlier, or the Croatan Native Americans, sorry. Those are the, that's Croatoan. No. I don't understand. So, if I went to find that tree right now, would that C-R-O-W? It's C-R-O. Oh. Uh, well, that's dumb. <laughs> so, he thought it was... Croatoan Island, which was 50 miles away. So he tried to sail there, but he tried to sail there twice, and neither times he was successful. Uh, there kept being storms and stuff, and he couldn't try again because the ship that he was on was privately owned. So he couldn't keep looking. But 12 years later, an expedition led by Samuel Mace was supposed to investigate this because people were still like, where the heck are these people? But there's also bad weather... So he couldn't find it. And then Raleigh was arrested for treason, which is a whole nother story. So he couldn't do any more research. 
I like how literally the answer was just 50 miles away and they just didn't even try. They did try. That's the thing. They did try. But they didn't try hard enough. How hard is it to build a raft? I, well, it's 50 miles. 50 miles offshore or just 50 miles from? 50 miles. It, the island was 50 miles away. Right. From land, I think. They can hike. Oh, from land. Okay, that's what I was saying. Offshore. Yeah. I mean, they were going to take a ship, so. Yeah. But anyway, so in uh, 1603 was the last expedition to try to find these people, and that was led by Bartholomew Gilbert, and they also had bad weather, so they couldn't get there. And then what happened was the landing team was killed by a group of Native Americans for unknown reasons, and the remaining crew were forced to return to England. Also, England was trying to find these people because it's their colony, but also the Spanish were trying to find these people because... They wanted to kill them. Basically, Raleigh's plans were to use Roanoke as a base for pi- privateering, so they wanted to destroy it. And they were there was just kind of rumors floating around about what was going on, so they didn't really know what was going on there. And they thought the colony was super successful and doing great, so they just kind of wanted to be like, "Screw you, England!" In 1590, the Spanish found remnants of the colony just by accident, and um, but they couldn't because of the war. They couldn't go back and explore it more, so um, they didn't really know. Croatoan. The island? It doesn't say where. I actually don't know. Well, I mean, that's mystery solved. I think they believe it was in Chesapeake Bay area. Oh, by Michigan? Because that was in... What? Chesapeake Bay is by Michigan. We're in North Carolina right now. Raleigh? (laughs) Kind (laughs) of. So... I guess. They believed it was in Chesapeake Bay area, which was John White's intended location. So here are some of the theories about... What's going on? So some important things are there are no mass graves, bodies, or archaeological stuffs have ever, ever have ever been found. Is that like quoted stuffs? That's m- my terminology. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is that is that a legitimate term? Mm. Like archaeological stuffs? Archaeologically speaking, no stuffs were found. <clears throat> so the first first theory is that they were murdered by local Native American tribes. Um, Where are the bodies? Exactly. So, do you want to hear the lore behind it? Like, the stuff supporting it, or no? Mm, Sure. Okay, well, this one guy named Thomas Harriet was writing letters, like, trying to keep documentation on Roanoke, but they later figured out basically everything he said was propaganda. It was like, we're doing great, everything's fine, no need to worry, but English didn't even get it until 1588. So, they didn't even see this, and it didn't really... Impacted at all. Then how did they know it was propaganda? It just says probably propaganda, but he said nothing bad ever happened under these two leaders who are known for killing the kings or like the tribe, the chief of tribes of the Native American settlements. You know, you mentioned like a fuck ton of names right at the beginning of this, and I don't think one of them has become relevant yet. Probably not. I don't know. I didn't know which names were important <laughs> when I was reading this. Okay, the second theory is that they integrated and were murdered. So, Jamestown. Once that was established in 1607, um, efforts were taken by the English to get more info from the Powhatan, Powhatan tribe about Roanoke. And John Smith, like Pocahontas John Smith, leader of the, the Jamestown colony... He was the first one who got this information, and then Samuel Purchase was the guy who was a chronicler, just kind of keeping things up to date. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen Pocahontas in a while. Is that is that uh the one the the kid played by um the kid with the hat Christian Bale? Is he the Christian? I don't know. Christian Bale's in Pocahontas. I don't know. He plays a little tiny kid. I don't think he has any lines. (laughs) What? How does that work? (laughs) It's. I don't know, but it's accurate. It's 100% accurate. Okay. Well, Google anyway. Google it if you don't believe me. So, according to Samuel Purchase, Smith learned from Chief Powhatan that he, that Chief Powhatan murdered all the Roanoke people. So, but he murdered all of them after they had let, they began to integrate into the Chesapeans tribe. So, the Roanoke people went, lived with the Chesapeans, and then right before the Jamestown people got there, Chief Powhatan was like, uh-uh. Well, who's and Chief Powhatan for? Them. Who's he representing? Powhatan tribe? Powhatan tribe, and yeah. he didn't like the uh, the Chesapeake tribe? <laughs> Chesapeans. Okay, Powhatan... 
did the slaughter. I don't know. <laughs> Directed the slaughter. He he did the slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> he was D2S. Be- <laughs> Because of prophecies by his priests that he would throw, he would throw, he would overthrow. No, I'm wrong. He would be overthrown <laughs> by people from the Third area. Time's Third time. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so, yeah, so there, no bodies were found. No archeo- archaeological evidence was ever found to support this claim. Uh, but recent examination, re-examinations of the Smith and Strachey, who are just people who document crap and you know john smith sources advanced by author and researcher brandon fulham has suggested that the massacre described by powhatan was actually of the 15 people left by the first roanoke expedition so it did happen but the people that he killed where if you remember going back to our initial history like a small group came and then it was the second big group that disappeared so they said it was the first uh small group which actually that first small group also disappeared but that doesn't get brought up a lot but they also disappeared. All right. I'm assuming the second conspiracy theory is ghosts and or aliens. Well, these are just theories of what happened. These are not necessarily conspiracies. The next one is just integrated. So they just joined a tribe. Oh, yeah. Skip to the aliens. The aliens aren't an option. I know they're an option. They aren't. All right. Well, okay. New conspiracy theory. You're welcome. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens that know how to write in possibly English. They at least know three letters. <laughs> C R O. Yeah. I so mean, R is a menacing letter. That's why it's called murder. And not muck duck. <laughs> The next series that they were just integrated, and Dr. David Beers Quinn theorizes that the colony just integrated to the tribes. The uh, colony did have boats, so literally they could have just went over anywhere. I mean, they weren't like great boats, but they were they were decent boats. Could they uh, boat fifty miles? Well, the thing was, there's a bunch of islands right there, so maybe not necessarily Croatoan. I mean, they could have like went to Croatoan. They could have went there, but they also was the Choanok tribe was close by, um, and that was also attacked by another tribe. And there was a map in um, made in 1607 by Francis Nelson, who was a Jamestown settler, and. His map literally says on it, four men clothed that came from Roanoke, which I think was how you sounded out to spell Roanoke. No, that's a bit of a stretch. But he says that those men were living in the Iroquois site on the Noose. And then also William Strachey wrote that that some of the Indian settlements or some of the Native American settlements had two story houses with stone walls. Which they supposedly learned how to do from Roanoke settlers. Hmm. Just stuff like that. So, randomly saw white people around, Native Americans, things like that, weird rumors between tribes, da 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 da. You get the idea. Oh, and also, some of the ancestors l- looked like a combo kid of Native Americans and the English settlers. So, I, I feel like there's a lot more integration that happened than we choose to acknowledge and or realize now sort of thing. Just gut feeling, you know? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Then or? Then. Okay. Yeah. I feel like Native Americans and white people, I mean, have you seen those representations of what Thanksgiving looks like? I feel like that is fairly accurate. You know? What are you on? (laughs) Life. Okay, well, the next theory is that the Spanish just attacked them. The next theory is that... (laughs) Skip right over that one. Yeah, there's not much to that one. Then there's something called the Dare Stone. So, from 1937 to 1941, a series of inscribed stones were discovered that claimed to have been written by Eleanor Dare, who was Mother Virginia Dare, first mama... To give birth to English baby on the new soil. You know, that person. So, these inscribed stones told of the travelings of the colonists and their ultimate deaths. Now, how far away were these inscribed stones from Roanoke? I don't know. I actually don't know a lot about these, but most historians think they're fake. Were they on the ground? Maybe. I don't know. Most people think they're fake. Is this like... Is this like Curse of Oak Island shit? Well, they did find one... Well, the very first stone they found... 
like based on tests and linguistic and chemical analysis, they think that one could be legit, but they're the rest of them they're like it's probably not real. It might be Crystal Oak Island stuff. I don't know. Okay, the next one is the Virginia Pars map. So there's so many map things. In May of 2011, Brett Lane of the First Colony Foundation was studying the Virginia Pars map, which was made by John White. Remember, John White, artist and explorer. So the artist part was he made maps. It comes back around. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad for your excitement. During this map, there were two patches, which Brett Lane found, where the map had been corrected. And these patches were just made of, like, different paper, so you could kind of see through them. So, like, wax paper shit? No, it's just like, like, have you seen, you know, have you seen, you've seen National Treasure. So, it's kind of like just looking through it, and they were able to see that there is a large square-shaped symbol with oddly-shaped corners. Fuck you on about National Treasure. When they looked through the co- the Declaration of Independence? With glasses? Well, still. Ben Franklin's bifocals? Speaking that, of Ben Franklin, when you like look through a, hun- a hundred dollar bill and you see Ben Franklin's face. Uh-huh. It's just like that. It comes back around. <laughs> so. You didn't even start with that in the first place. I misremembered <laughs> the, what's it called? National treasure. I'm gonna keep forgetting. Yeah, okay, they also put lemon juice on the back of it and then blue on it, and that created a hidden message. They did not do that for so, this. There was just a little piece of paper glued to this other piece of paper that you could see through. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why I think just they could see through. It? They looked under it and they found a large square symbol with oddly shaped corners, which that symbol re- was presumed to represent a fort. Some people believe that that spot with the fort is where the colonists relocated to. That is it. <laughs> like, that's the end of the series, that they just went to this new place. They they didn't go investigate that area? I guess not. I don't know. This is the cutoff of my notes, is that's it. Well, actually, the cutoff of my notes is the Scotch Hall Preserve Golf Course community was planned on that site, but it has not been fully developed. Why the fuck did that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. The last one I have are climate factors. So they looked at tree rings and found that the worst drought that had happened was... While the people were there. So they probably just had to leave because they had to find food. But right now there's current investigations going on that they're trying to figure out what happened by looking for ancestry. So there's the Lost Colony of Roanoke DNA Project, which was founded in 2007 by a group led by Robert Estes trying to find DNA links to the colonists to kind of see if the integration theory holds up. Right now they have not found any links, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We could put the link in the show notes because those are a thing now. Woo. I'll get to that site. So get yourself tested. What? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's our sign off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So the sources I used for this are MPS.gov, Britannica Encyclopedia, and History.com. Now what are your ideas? I don't think that they were killed. I also don't think they were very there for very long. I think maybe a couple months, however long it took for them to... Uh, I mean, they probably weren't there very long, considering they were there for a month before they made John White go back to get them more stuff. Yeah, see, and considering the fact that only one person was found, I'm assuming that it was one person died in the entire history of the colonization, or colony, and that, at least to me, signals the fact that they probably just left. I don't think it was for water drought reasons. I mean, that could be part of it, but I don't think a month-long drought is really that much of a concern, but I guess I've never lived within a drought. Well, it could have been that they were like, because they were out of supplies, so they could have been like, well, he's not going to be back for a while, so let's try to let's try to grow crops. I don't know. It was August when, they, when he left, but it's North Carolina, so it's warmer. Yeah. They probably just skedaddled. They I don't Where? I don't think they were killed at Roanoke. They probably just left and were killed to other places. Maybe they just disbanded. Do you think they were integrated? No. You don't think they joined up with the Native Americans? I mean probably. I mean that that's 
At least some of them did. I, I don't see them staying as a colony and moving as a herd. As you said, they were privateers. So very well could have, many people could have came by and then since the men weren't doing anything, just jump ship, literally. Or I guess jump on ship, literally. There was a baby there. Screw babies. There's 17 women. Those 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 odds and hold up. Yeah, like four, he said. The ratio of men to women to children weren't very high. There's 87 men, 17 women, and 11 children. Yeah, so literally 20 men stay. The rest go off and do pirate shit. Then what happened to them? Just moved? They died doing pirate shit. What about the women and children? They just left. But to where? They just left. They so if they gotta go somewhere, they're not just wandering around. Do you not understand how creating a colony works? That's literally what happens. They find a place and they settle there. Where did they settle? Some place that had water. <laughs> I mean, they were pretty close to water. Yeah, but it wasn't good water. I think they just. I think they just got up. Their get up and go got up and left, and they probably got slaughtered along the way. But I don't think as a group they disappeared. I feel like it was probably like we're leaving. One goes, the other goes, the other goes. And then, oh, there's only 30 of us left. Let's all just beat it. (sighs) Because that's how colonies work. You ever try to ever try to make a city? Have you? Yeah, I played Banished. I don't know what that is. I thought you were going to play. I play SimCity. No, it's Roller Coaster Tycoon. <clears throat> yeah, no, I I never played Roller Coaster Tycoon. I used to play Zoo Tycoon with the one with the dinosaurs. Ooh, wink those fences go weak. On that note, that is it for this episode. <laughs> Your microphone, microphone mess up, buddy. Oh no, he's tangled. <laughs> he's unhappy. And that is it. So be your weird self. Goodbye.